Welcome to C++ programming. In the previous lesson, we talked about creating our first class. In today's lesson, we're going to expand on that idea and we're going to talk about set and get member functions. So let's jump into the coding and see what is set and get functions. So we will open code blocks. We will create a new empty file. We will save this as set and get.cpp. I will start off by including my basic input and output stream library using name space std and then int main void return zero so that's our main function we've got our using namespace to enable us to use the shorthand of c out and c in and our program executed successfully so we can go on we're going to create again our class called student with a capital letter s and we are going to create public and private sections in our class and the public and private is private is not accessible through the object public functions are accessible through the object and only the public functions can then talk directly to the private section great so in our public we're going to write a few functions and in private we will set two variables now a student will have a name of type string and a student will have a student number let's say student number well, let's do it like this yeah student number now when we create a class and we create variables we cannot set this name to something or initialize that um, variable because this is a blueprint of a entity it's not the physical manifestation of this um, idea this is just the plan the blueprint when we create the object of type student that's the actual implementation implementation and then we can actually set name and initialize name and student number but we can't initialize name when we create the class because class is not something it's just a blueprint it's not um, a created thing yet so we cannot initialize yet so for us to initialize we get um, or to interact with our private variables so we normally in most cases um, use our variables in a class as private and in public we create functions to interact with our variables our private variables now those functions we call set and get member functions now in public we um, call these functions set and get but we call them in a specific way so set is to set a variable to a value so we actually set is a initialization function and get is to get the value from that variable so that we can from the object interact with the private and or private variables so we're going to create for each of the variables a set and get function and that's normal in any class we normally create for each variable that are private a set and get function 
for us then to interact with that specific private variable. So we will create a set function for name and a set function will receive a parameter but it's not going to return anything. So we will say void set name and let's make name maybe a capital letter so that the set names and everything is nice. So set name will then receive a parameter and name is of type string so it will receive a string variable as a parameter. Great. So the parameter will be received and we will store that parameter then inside name. So we will say name and this name here is that name and we will say is equal to A. And there we have it. That's our set name function. Then we will get a get name function. And get name is then to get the actual content of the variable called name. So we will say get name. And get name will not have any parameter. Now get name will return name. Oops, return the name. And that's it. Get is to get a value from this um, ob implementation of the object and set is to initialize in a sense. So what we can do is what to make it sometimes a little bit nice and neat because this is very small functions we can do it in one line and it's easy to read because now we're going to create two more functions a set and a get for student number. So we will now continue. So we will again say void set student number and let's check here and it will receive an integer and we will say student number is equal to a. And the same with the get. So it's going to return a integer and we will say get student number, no parameters, and we will return student number. And there we have set and get functions for each of the private variables. So there is a void set student number and the int get student number. Okay. And there's also a set name and a get name for name. And that's it. Now we're going to actually implement this class and create the object of type student. So we again will say student that's the type, that's the class, and we will say student1. And now we can actually say student, with a small letter, student1 dot set the name, set name, and we can set the name to Jane, and we can also then set the student number and the student number maybe one two three four and then we can use a cout statement and say cout oops wrong button we can say name and we can say student one dot get name Oops, let's take that out. And we can say end line. And we can say C out student num student one dot get student number 
don't ever forget your round brackets to show it's a function so we created a object student one is an object of type student and then student one is now the object and student one has all this insights okay so student one set name we set the name to jane we set the student number to one two three four and after that we can go and get now the name by using the object and the dot get name function and the student number we can get with get student number function so let's build and run and there you can see name is jane and student number is one two three four and that's it that is set and get member functions we normally do a set and a get function for each private variable so that we can access and interact with the private variables that's all for me thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon